Well, he's been given one more year, and of course, Florencio Avila is elated that he's not going to be torn from his family, but again, it's only temporary. I can tell you, you know how much they mean, but it means a lot, especially for my kids. That brief comment only begins to describe how relieved Florencio Avila is to remain in this country and care for his ill children. I feel very happy right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I know it was scary for a while. Yeah, it was very scary. I thought my dad was going to go and leave me here. Florencio was due to be deported back to Mexico Monday, August 30th. But after an outpouring of support from the community and his will to stay in care for his chronically ill children, Florencio's attorney received written confirmation from Immigration and Customs Enforcement that he now has one more year. The supervisory officer actually called me on my cell phone yesterday to tell me he had good news and that it had been approved for a year and that they would be faxing the order to us, which we did receive this morning. What are you going to do now? Now, work, work and be with my kids, with my wife, and my normal life. Florencio's attorney has requested what is called deferred action from the head ICE office in Washington, meaning a more permanent stay, but this is never ending. It is his life as an illegal immigrant, just hoping to stay one more day. Live in Troy, I'm Glenda Lewis, Channel 7 Action News, back to you. All right, thank you for that report, Glenda.